Cab County High School after reports of an intruder. Stevenson High School was put on a level three lockdown as officers swept the building. There are still a lot of questions, though, as to what prompted all of this. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live there now. She's been on the case and on the story all day. Ashley, the school now has security there. We know police arrested one male juvenile in connection to this lockdown, but right now officials are being very tight lipped as to why that juvenile was arrested. But students here have heard several reasons. Not the best start to the school year for DeKalb County Stevenson High School. On this morning, we had officers burst into our room and was put on uh, lockdown level three. Officials with DeKalb County Schools say reports of an intruder prompted the level three lockdown. Everyone thought it was a drill and then everybody got on Instagram posting that there was helicopters and police and the police started busting in classrooms. They were looking for someone. DeKalb County School District officials say police swept the building and tell us everyone was safe, but they won't say if they found anything suspicious in that sweep. Students and parents, however, tell CBS 46 News officers were looking for someone with a gun. They bust in every classroom looking for the suspects. The lockdown creating panic for some parents who wanted to get to their children. This mom recorded the chaos on her phone. Can we go get our kids now? Come on, Devin. Just keep walking. All right, buddy. She says she was taken to the ground by police officers when she tried to get to her son. The woman heard in the video is Sherilyn Stiegel's niece. Put yourself in this situation. You get messed at a shooter's at the school. We don't know if our child got shot, if, it's, if the child dead or what. Police did arrest a juvenile male, but didn't say why. The school district also isn't saying whether the juvenile is a student. Now, after the building was swept, the school remained on a level one lockdown for the rest of the day. But again, there are many questions here. We're going to continue to press for those answers. And the name of that juvenile has not yet been released, possibly because he is a juvenile. But again, we will continue to work to get some answers here. Live in DeKalb County, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Ashley.